Hello everybody. In this video we are going to continue with the BACnet web services to Node-RED integration. In the previous demonstration I talked about reading data from a trend log via the BACnet web services. We used Node-RED to do the HTTP requests to the BACnet web services. In this demonstration we will focus on getting the newest temperature value from the one-wire sensor when the value changes. This mechanism is called CO, short for change of value. We are going to start by entering Node-RED in the browser. Here we see the work we did with the trend log in the last demonstration. We are going to start by creating a new flow. Before I show how to set up the CO subscription, I'm going to show how to get the current temperature via polling. We add a inject node that will be responsible of starting the data retrieval and repeat the data retrieval every 10 seconds. We add a request node and add the path to the BACnet object within the BACnet web services that is associated with the temperature sensor and request a value in plain text. We then add a gauge give it a name and edit the presentation setup. We deploy the changes and we see a gauge that refreshes its value every 10 seconds. Now let us set up a co-subscription. Our subscription has a lifetime and in my case it will be 60 seconds. So I add a inject node that will be responsible of creating a co-subscription and it will create a new one every 65 seconds when a previous subscription expires. When the other Dingo device will send a co, it needs a HTTP endpoint to send the value to. So we add a HTTP in node that supports post requests and define the URL. We also add a response node so that the other Dingo device knows that we have received the code value. The default response is code 200, which means OK. So we leave it to that. I then add a function node that will help me set up the payload that is going to be sent with the subscription. It contains a label and a callback that points to the endpoint we just created. It also contains a preferred lifetime which I set to 60 seconds. And then I add a list of codes. It will contain a reference to the BACnet object that I want to receive codes from. Finally, it contains the URL where we want to send the subscription, which is the other Dingle device. Then we are going to add a HTTP request node that is going to communicate with the BACnet web services on the other Dingle device. It will use the POST method and send the payload we just defined in the function node. When the subscription has been created, we will start getting co-values in via a, our HTTP endpoint. 
So I'm going to create a function node to pick out the value from the temperature sensor. We could subscribe to many different objects at the same time. So when the co-values come in, I need to go through all the values, find the object I'm interested in, and get that value. That is what this script does. Now what is left to do is to add a gauge connected to the function give it a name and set the units of measure and do the color presentation similar to the other gauge we created. We deploy the changes and we see two identical gauges. One uses polling and the other co. The one wire temperature that we are communicating with is on my desktop. So if I take the sensor in my hand, the temperature should change and we should see the changes first on the co gauge because it receives the changes as they happen. The other gauge refreshes its value every 10 seconds. So that is it. We have Node-RED running on a Dingo device, receiving change of values as they happen from another Dingo device via the BACnet web services. I hope you learned something from this video. Goodbye for now.